Young people! Welcome back, BMB. Here the math, brother. Guys, we're taking care of chapter one, lesson one. It's gonna be a quick one, but it's gonna be a little long. Let's get this bad boy started. Right, A, verbal expression for each algebraic expression. So we are literally going to be writing what we see, what we read, verbal, right? The way we talk. So, 9a squared. I'm going to write 9a squared to the second power. So, indicating our variable as a power. I said variable. <laughs> indicating our exponent you know, as a power. a is a variable. Going to go ahead and make sure I highlight. And of course, second power. Like I said, guys, it's going to be pretty easy today. First lesson of the chapter. Second one, number two, five squared. And it looks like I am going to go ahead and choose set. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to erase that and use the other method by which we can write a exponent. Squared. And again, go ahead and um, show the base of this right now. 5 is the base, and of course, square, second option of writing it, first way was second power, second way we're going to call it square. And here comes number 3 and 4, and I love it, C plus 2B, and I clearly recognize the operation. Plus, C plus. So, um, 2D, and um, that's it, right? Uh, making sure you got the operation, and you've got the variable, and that you did it right. So, we're going to go ahead and highlight the variables in this one. C, and your coefficient, 2, and your variable, B. Got a little vocabulary. Number four, of course. Oh, I heard you. Four minus five H. So again, recognizing the operation and this one here, minus. And uh, don't worry, boys and girls, it's gonna get a little bit harder. And if you would like to, go ahead and highlight some, let your teacher know. You're really getting it, right? Um, my constant, four. My coefficient, five. And of course, my variable, h. So again, guys, um, as you're here enjoying the video, I like to throw out as much vocabulary because as I tell my kids, when you understand what you hear, you understand what you're doing. So um, coefficient, variable, base, exponent, operation, all those good algebraic terms, right? vocabulary. So here we go, looking at something that I guess could be considered a little bit more um, challenging, five or six, I don't know. Five doesn't have any operations. So two, B, squared. And again, if you don't want to say squared, you can say, as I'm putting it here, to the second power. And again, guys, let's just, oops, typo. Good quick fix there. 7x to the third minus 1, and um, again, being clear on 7x cubed. Well, I didn't write cubed. I write to the third. Yeah, because it's easy. Whether you're in third grade and you're watching this, or whether you're in 12th grade and watching this, I'm sure there's no third grade watching this, right? We are clear that it's like you're in a grade to the second, like second grade, to the third, like third grade, to the fourth, to the fifth, to the sixth, and um, that's it. So even if it's to the 15th power, right? So seven X to the third minus one, or seven X to third minus one, typo. Don't, 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 don't be keeping track of my typos now. <laughs> and knocking out number seven and eight here. And again, guys, if you've already caught on, go ahead and knock this out yourself. And join me later on in the video if it gets complicated. 
or watch all the way through, man. Like, share, leave a comment. P to the fourth. Operation is plus. If you want to use a different word, keep it simple, smarty. Six R. And I'm not sure if there's any vocabulary I want to highlight or terms in that. And our last one, 3n squared minus x. And I think that's going to take care of part one of the handout. So it's going to get a little bit more challenging. And I hope as it does get more challenging, it gets a little bit more enjoyable. Write an algebraic expression for each verbal expression. So now we're just kind of swapping it, right? They're going to give us the words and we have to write the numbers or the, the math problem or the expression as it's called here. So we always want to start with something that we know. We know our operations. There's four of them. That's why I love my editors. Slide those in. Sum, minus, multiplication, division. And in this problem, I see sum. So highlight it blue, mark it blue. And of course, the sum of what? Number and 10. So that number can be any variable. X, Y, P, Q, T. Or let's use N. And of course, 10. So boom, bam, pow, N plus 10. It's going to get a little bit more challenging. And let's go ahead and get this stuff out the way. Or actually, we got room. Ah. This is where it gets fun, guys, because I guarantee you're going to write 15 minus K, or you're going to write K minus 15. So again, guys, I want to point out, start with your operation. It's less of so minus. Let's get that in there. Now, minus what? Minus 15 or minus K? Quick, 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 quick. Well, 15 less. So I'm subtracting 15 and then just throw the K in front. So this is something where, again, depending on your teacher, depending on how well you're engaging, um, it's just practice. Um, you'll make this mistake consistently, but um, it's going to come up again later on and we'll talk about it a little bit further. But for right now, guys, next product. Multiplication. Yep, hopefully you learned that third grade. Second grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, I don't know. Teach high school now. I'm teaching the world now, huh? Wow. And of course, the product of 18 and Q. This is where, um, again, those students that are trying to um, earn an A versus earn an A plus versus, you know, I want my dad off my butt, right? So 18 times Q, 18 times Q, and 18 Q. Those are the three ways you can write the answer for this one. Understanding that, and again, it's your choice. And if you have a teacher that is going to tell you, I want you to write it as, well, you gotta kind of follow those directions, but literally guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest, those all say the product of 18 and Q. But, as I said, your choice. And I think that's it, guys. We're gonna, oh, somebody's listening. This is your choice. I love it. All right, guys, good job. So we're gonna move it on and get to the, I wanna call it meat and potatoes. That's the favorite part. So six more than twice, you know, every time I teach this, I say the same thing. If I went to the store twice, how many times did I go? Good job. You said it, I heard you. Two times, so two times M, two M. And again, guys, if I wanted to get fancy, I could use the parentheses, um, I could use a dot, same way we have before, your choice, but again, six more, there's my operation of addition, and two times M. 13, eight increased by three times a number. So again, your choice with three times, if you had to put the dot for times, or you wanted to put the parentheses for multiplication times. Again, increase means addition, and my eight goes in front. Um, the community of property of addition 
means I can swap those, but A plus three in. Let's get this handout done. Number 14, the difference of 17 and five times a number. We already know we recognize the word difference as subtraction. And um, yeah, we also recognize times a number as multiplication. So we have two operations happening here, right? Understanding our basic operations. And I see my subtraction, I see my multiplication. And this time, guys, being careful. You can't swap it with subtraction. All right, let's knock out 15 and 16. Um, call it out. You see any operations in there? You got it. I see the word product. I'm sorry, 15. The product of 2 and the second power of y. Product, multiplication, second power of y. Could have called it y squared because I show wrote it as y squared. So 2 times y squared or just 2y squared. And 9 less. And this is where, again, guys, taking your time. You have the option of getting it right or getting it wrong. So are you going to put minus 9 or are you going to put minus g to the fourth? There's a big difference. And this is talking about that commutative property of addition. And actually, there's a handout coming up later on. I'm sure your teacher will assign it. But the correct answer is g to the fourth minus 9. Because we're saying 9 less. The other one is not saying 9 less. You just take a second. Slow down. This is that opportunity to get a 98% on the test versus a 93%, right? That's what happens when you teach. There's bells. Gotta love it. So go to the, I'm sorry, not go. That says G to the fourth power. Understanding that it's not G to the fourth less. No, no, no. And uh, again, guys, if that's the only one you get incorrect, you're doing a great job. But uh, I wanted to make sure I point that out. Young people, once again, BMB, here for you, here for the parents, here for the teachers too. Like, share, comment. I'm enjoying this. I hope you are too. Have a good one.